Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to Torreon, Coahuila, Northern Mexico on this bright and sunny and sweltering Friday afternoon just outside this awesome church. Very modern. I think it was built in the 50s. I might be completely wrong. I'm in the uh, southern area of the city. I think to my left back there is Colonia Lucio Blanco and I'm heading towards, I hope, Colonia Jardines del Sur, which is kind of to the right. This video is actually kind of requested by someone to show a different side of the city once again. As you can probably tell, this is one of my 4K walk around videos. We've done a number of these, as well as my regular videos in Torreon. I would suggest checking them out. Um, yeah, let's walk. Let's go this way. Alright, we're going to go left up here. Now in my Torreon videos so far, we've done some last year, which were kind of all over the place in downtown and other areas. We've been up to the Cristo, of course, down Independencia, the northern part of the city. This year again, we've done similar, but also there was the one in the more industrial area. It is also rather industrial down here. So you'll see in the distance, there's this like big chimney thing up there. Um, this is kind of near where that big black pile of black stuff is, you know, <laughs> that you've seen in previous videos. But we'll head this way today. As much as I would love to go into that industrial area. We'll see. Look, nice and quiet in residential southern Torreón. Yes, I'm in Colonia Torreón Jardín at the moment. I'm going up that way. Look at the lovely trees around. With these nice houses in this area. Birds tweeting. Yeah, I think I'm heading up to like a big roundabout and this whole area, if you look at it from above, is like a big oval shape and there's like a central avenue that goes down to another Eiffel Tower. Remember the one in Gomez Palacio? One thing about houses in 
residential areas in Mexico like this, I'm always quite astounded at just how kind of well manicured they are, clean. You know, this has got a kind of 60s vibe to it. I like this place. House there with a the big sort of archway window. Oh, I see fountains up ahead. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Let's look at the fountain. Abuelo over there with his strimmer. Oh, it smells like the sea. Oh yeah, it really smells of the sea. You know, that smell you get when you go down the beach. And just look at that, the road I came down those mountains in the distance. Stunning. I think this just goes to show that what people think about Torreón being this ugly city, it can be just as stunning as the typically more commonly visited locations in Mexico, right? When this is almost something out of Condesa in Mexico City with a little bit of Culiacán, Los Mochis, Ciudad Obregón. Wow, and there's more fountains up there. Oh, I like this road. There might not be you know, a lot of people rushing around and all that, but sometimes it's nice to have a little leisurely walk, isn't it? There are fountains on both sides of the road. Muy tranquilo. It's a really nice green colour as well. You might not think so, but it kind of reminds me of uh, like fountains elsewhere in Mexico that have got this very sort of rich algae colour, but that actually looks quite cool. Green area, beware, respect the plants. That sign says down there. Junk removal guys over there with a horse. What have they got? That pieces of wood and old pieces of crap, you know, metal, corrugated metal. I might have touched on this before, but I think some of you have mentioned it in comments as well about how very much quiet and peaceful cities in northern Mexico are in comparison to some in the south. 
you know, we haven't got the old gold jones, let's do it fast. Or, you know, tamales, tamales. It's all very, as I said, tranquil. I would say it's very livable. Look at this, big doors, all these windows. Checking my phone to check that I'm heading in the right direction. Yes, I am. I think we'll definitely make it to the Eiffel Tower. Whether or not we will be able to head down that way is another matter. And there's Abuelo again over there. The road like splits into two up here. Look at that house over there. Should we go and have a closer look? That is iconic. With like the bushes around or the hedges and that big metal gate. Circular window in the attic with those that foliage growing over the uh, walls. Stunning. Yeah, this grass here, I feel kind of guilty walking on it because, uh, you know, it has been clearly cut recently and it's all very well manicured, as I said. It's a bit like Polanco as well in Mexico City. I've been doing a lot of comparisons with here and those sort of areas in Mexico City in previous videos. But it has got that kind of feel because in Palanca there is that sort of middle road, you know, that's all very nice. And, you know, a lot of the houses either side are very nice, you know, affluent area. They're wonderful, beautiful, colourful flowers in Normex. Obligatorio. Oh, put your dog on a lead. Yes. Oh, and pick up your poo. Not your poo, the dog's poo. Well, I don't know, you might do a poo. Enough about poo. What's this? Some sort of monument. Cara Norte Tiempo. Oh, it's like a sundial. Tiempo de sol y sombra. Like uh, sun and shade, yeah. Oh, wow, that's cool, isn't it? It's like a modern sundial. I love sun dials. There was a TV show when I was a kid called Moon Dial, I think it was called. And I've been fascinated by things like that ever since. Got all these lines on it with the numbers. Sol, sombra. A bit like the word umbra in Latin, shade. And penumbra. I think that's the less dark part of the shadow, like with the moon, you know. I kind of learned that from Star Trek Deep Space Nine which is where I learn most things. This is beautiful, isn't it? 
thank you to whoever it was that told me to come here. <laughs> Not told me, said I should come here. Because it's gorgeous. It's a nice little Friday afternoon walk, you know. A lot of construction going on. Should we uh, get off this road and go down one of these roads to the right and then we can double back on ourselves to the Eiffel Tower? Hopefully it's not like that one in Odessa, Saba. Never forget. So if you didn't know there's one in Gomez Palacio, of course if you're from this area you'll know that. But if you're not, there is this uh, strange fascination I've always noticed in Mexico with Paris and also London. You know, without fail, 90% of Airbnbs that you stay in in Mexico will have either a Eiffel Tower shower curtain or like a bedspread, bed cover, you know. Huge house over there, look at it. So yeah, in like around the centre of Torreon, I think it's near Alameda Park. There's also like a little Eiffel Tower, but I think it's outside a French restaurant. You know the one I mean if you're from here. Seeing these high walls on houses reminds me of the time a flight got cancelled in Cancun and I had to stay the night in this weird place that had a really high wall but my flight the next morning was really early and the Airbnb host wasn't awake so I had to find a ladder and climb over the top of this high wall in order to escape classic Mexico stories Someone's got two flat tyres, maybe even four. I think that woman's doing her washing. See, everyday life in Mexico, people going about their business. Like imagine living here with your house here, with that backdrop behind your house. Like, you know, I'm from London, there aren't any mountains. There's just high-rise 70s concrete tower blocks. And graffiti. <laughs> Which should explain why I spend a lot of time in places like Obregón and Torreón, because it feels like home. I'm not used to this sort of lavish, ginormous houses, you know? Margaritas. That was the street name, by the way, in case you can't see it. so posh doesn't it even these little bushes down here have been well manicured into spheres in England you're more likely to find a crappy old bush with poo in it or something I mean yeah of course you do get nice areas as well but I've never seen them <laughs> okay let's go back this way Laguna Sur. Where am I now? I'm still in Colonia Tor Torreón, Adin. And on that point, this city is quite big. You know, you might not think so, but it's it's rather large. It's quite spread out, you know. 
a bit like uh, Hermosillo is also quite spread out, you know. I just need to pull my jeans up, otherwise my bum will be displayed to the whole of Mexico, which would not be a pretty sight. Oh. Perrito! <laughs> oh, go this way. Gracias. Actualmente, this way. There's shade, which is heaven. All the Mexico in July is like, this is like a beautiful angel of salvation. That bit is basically like stepping into the depths of hell. <laughs> but what do you expect when you come to Northern Mexico in July, David? <laughs> oh, more Mexi dogs. I know I keep saying it, but this is really nice. Why have I not come here before? Is this the Condesa of Torreon? Not possibly. See another fountain ahead. Sorry, I just had to stop it because I got stopped by a guy asking me why I was filming and then it took a while to explain. <sighs> I couldn't be bothered to put that on camera because my Spanish is terrible. But here we are at the Eiffel Tower. Shocking. He was basically saying that I couldn't film here. I had that when I was in um, Brazil, when I went to this nice area. Eiffel Tower. Plaza de la Fraternidad, inaugurated by the government of Carwila. And then who did it? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, French community, association of uh, this colonia we're in. Why is it a French community? What's the connection with France? Tell me in the comments if you know. Could we finally get to the bottom as to why there are Eiffel Towers in Mexico? everywhere okay instead of being a 30 minute video let's make it a 25 minute we're almost there this is a goodbye to Torreon however there is one more video coming from the region which if I'm honest I have already filmed it was about three days ago in Rapimi Durango which is where I will see you next time. 
Muchas gracias to the legendary Torreón. I'm sure I will be back in the future. You have given me a place in Mexico I can call home. Brilliant. See you in Mapimi. Catch you later.